All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. How are you doing? Let me get this like uh, get this height adjusted a little bit. Good to see everybody today. It is Monday. It is 4 p.m. Eastern time, which means only one thing: we're going to be streaming our faces off, having a good time, playing World of Haiku and Haiku Pro live on stream, teaching, learning cybersecurity, Linux fundamentals. Stay tuned over the next hour. Not only is there going to be a great group of folks in chat hanging out, socializing, saying what's going on. But I will be, uh, you know, showing you all these different capabilities within the world of Haiku platform. So it is World of Haiku today. Uh, if you joined us last week, perhaps it was the first time you caught us. We played Haiku Pro. We flip flop between the two products uh, every other week. Uh, and today on World of Haiku, we've got a special one. So World of Haiku, if you're not familiar with it, World of Haiku is this game right here. And it is basically a single player kind of on wheels or on rails. What's up, Ben? What's up, Ben? Good to see you for 11 months. You get that special Simply Cyber Blue. Ooh, Justin Gold, that's Simply Cyber Blue is looking good on you, friend. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. So um, World of Haiku is this game right here. And it's a single player on rails experience that takes you from no, like you could have zero background, like none and it will build you up and teach you Linux, get you comfortable on a command line, which is very, very important and very, very valuable, and then teach you some uh, introductory cybersecurity stuff, password cracking, um, brute force attacks, stuff like that. It's really a good, it's really fun. It's really a good game. Um, and what we're going to be doing today, if you can believe it, is we are going to be demoing exclusive unreleased content. So. The game itself, World of Haiku, uh, if you're familiar with the platform, the dojos and all that, there's there's nodes on a network and you kind of jump around and there's files on different endpoints of you know with different value. Well, the developers at World of Haiku have built a range builder, a, a, a network builder component, right? So now they are going to unlock the capability for the community, us, to develop and build our own challenges and be able to share them. So what I'm gonna show you today is, I'm gonna basically build a range live on stream and uh, we'll do some fun stuff with it. Uh, we'll, we'll obviously use people in chats information uh, to kind of spice it up and make it a little bit more personal uh, and experience. But I think it's gonna be a good time. And I wanna point out, I'm an educator, if you guys don't know that, if you're new here or something, uh, I'm an educator, so for me, I love the capability here to be able to uh, build custom, you know, custom ranges, custom concepts, custom uh, aspects to be able to like zero in on specifically what it is I want to teach my students instead of kind of like appropriating some existing range where it's like, yeah, like this, this and this are here, but they're not really important because those are really distracting to uh, individuals. I do want to say what's up. Um, G, uh, Jesus Ruiz asks, Haiku uses real world commands and tools within the game. Yes, it does. Now, let me, let me preface this. There are two products, two products, okay? One is World of Haiku, which is what this is, right? This is World of Haiku behind me. And then there's Haiku Pro. Both of them you can use real commands in, right? But Haiku Pro is like an actual Linux distribution. You get a Kali box, right? Like all, all the Kali stuff. World of Haiku, they built a simulated Linux environment inside of the platform. So when you run commands like Nmap, for example, Nmap is in there, you only have a subset of the arguments or commands that you can ask Nmap to do because all of the functionality has not been built out. But you might be like, oh my God, like like you could be a purist and be like, oh, that's ridiculous. But remember, as a student learning, when you learn Nmap, for example, you don't need 75 different arguments. That, that That's just overwhelming for a student. With World of Haiku, here's three arguments that are quite popular and get comfortable with them and, and don't be don't be too worried about it. Uh, getting distracted or anything. I almost like to think of World of Haiku as like bumper bowling, right? You guys, remember, I don't know if you, you, when you were kids you did bumper bowling, but they basically like inflate like a big kind of like long, 
like balloon or bladder and they put it in the in the gutters and i mean it doesn't matter how bad you are at bowling you're gonna get in some knocking some pins down okay world of haiku is like that it doesn't matter what your skill level is what your background is or anything like that it will set you up for success without overwhelming you and then once you finish world of haiku you can like rip the rip the lid off and get bananas up in haiku pro but it's gonna be good Want to say what's up to some of the folks in chat that I'm seeing here. Hey, Robert Lemons. Good to see you. Eric B's in the house. We'll give Eric B a little wow love on that one. Do love it. James Randolph says he's ready. What's up, Tree Hugger? Good to see you. Say that one more time now. Ignacio Silva. I'm not sure what you mean. I said a lot of stuff there, buddy. Uh, hey, new to Simply Cyber. That's cool. You're always welcome here. Everybody's everybody's welcome. Kevin Lucas, Justin Gold, Jenny Housley. As always, Jenny Housley. I, I don't think I can do a haiku stream without Jenny Housley being there because I inevitably run into some <laughs> some issues, some challenges pretty consistently. But let, let's take a look and start getting in. Um, what's up, Dub? Good to see you too. All right, let's jump into World of Haiku. If you guys have questions as I, um, as I am prone to do, I will stop and talk to you guys. I'll jaw jack. We'll, we'll have a good time. Uh, and if you're interested in World of Haiku, I am playing it on Steam. Uh, there is a link in the description below if you'd like to check it out. Okay, so here we are. Now, I want to call your attention immediately to this extra option right here. Uh, you see on the right, it says Start Load Settings Level Creator. That level creator is new. Like, if you log in right now, you will not see Level Creator because this is a beta version. I have access to unreleased content so I can demonstrate it to you, right? So don't don't log in and be like, where's my level creator? That's coming pretty soon. Uh, but this is just like a little sneak peek preview behind the behind the scenes. So let me let me show you guys a little oh actually like look at right at the title. See where it says World of Haiku V12862 dev. So you can see I'm running a different instance, a different model. So really quickly, the world of Haiku, this is where you can see it. It's got all the achievements, notifications. Like it's, it's, it's cool. It's a story, but let's do the level creator. Okay. Why the tab to complete commands do not work. Just wondering. Oh, Tuvia, you should give it a shot now. They actually did. Um, they got a lot of feedback on, um, they got a lot of feedback on tab completion, not being there and they actually did implement it. So now tab complete does work. Okay, so when, hold on, what happened? I need music. Come on, man. How are you gonna be coming at me like without music? Is this? All right, this sounds video game-ish. We'll give this a shot. Okay, so when it starts, this, this, this may look familiar to you, but it's like basically a blank map, okay? There's nothing in here. No, no nodes, no endpoints, no nothing. Now, at the very top, hey, if this music's distracting to you guys, just let me know in chat and I'll turn it off or turn it down or find some other music. Now, I want to show you guys. Um, I just hit all the all the stuff on screen. Do you see up here? Um, is this going to work? Can I zoom in? Nah. So up here, you could see that these are the commands. There's editor settings, mission steps editor, which we'll get to in a minute, add new device, delete device, select and move device. There's a typo there. It should say select and move device, I believe, not select ADN. It does sound like Mega Man, doesn't it, Haircut Fish? <laughs> um, change device properties, add connections, and edit device files. And we're working inside a persistent folder. So let me let me get my notes up here. So let's go ahead and create a level, shall we? So here we go. Um, should I move? Let me move my camera really quickly. Whoa! Okay, <laughs> I'm over here. Lower on the music, sure, Nightshade. How's that? The music's currently at uh, 41. Let me know if it needs to go lower. Okay, so let's check it out. We got our file name. The file name is gonna be the name of the network. So let's go ahead and call it, um, 
I don't know. Jenny Housley, what do you what do you want? Or uh let's let's call it uh DJ B sec. Yeah, we'll call it DJ B sec music studio. Okay? And then the level name, we'll call it um two turntables. Alright. Oh, hey, what's up, Tareem? Welcome to the party. Jerry's playing Sonic. That's right. I am playing. You know what? Actually, let me do this really quickly. Because um, people are going to jump jump in here and be like, what is this? Who is this? What are we doing? Let me do, let me do this really quickly. Um, uh, demoing unreleased exclusive unreleased level builder in world of haiku and then we'll do a purple heart okay there we go okay so let's get back to it all right so we have our map name and our mission name so our network name is going to be what should we call Okay, t network name and a microphone, okay? And then uh, mission name, we'll, we'll call it. Uh, I, my understanding of this, they have to clean this up a little bit, but my understanding is that this is a unique number. So uh, let's do uh, obviously 1337, right? Like, let's keep it real. Ooh, Jenny. Jenny. Jenny's right. Threat level midnight. Oh, wait, hold on. What was it? DJ B sec, and then um, threat level midnight. Nice. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and apply the changes. What did Chuck Sapp say? Oh, two turntables and a microphone. Yeah, exactly. Beck, get some Beck love going. You know what's interesting? Um, this is completely uh, unrelated, but there's like a really excellent, excellent, excellent non cybersecurity an excellent podcast my sister-in-law told me about called like 60 songs that shaped the 90s or something like that and um it, it's really like basically each episode they go into e one song each one it's super good hey kimberly good to see you anyways uh beck i think beck loser it was one of those songs that really did it all right so let's go ahead and apply the changes right Okay, let me actually take a screenshot. <laughs> Let's take a screenshot. Since, since we're going to be uh, jacking around here. All right, so we got to apply changes. There we go. And uh, user... Uh, let's see. Do we save? Do we save the file? One second. Yeah. Apply changes, save level. All right, so that... All right. All right, so now our level is saved. We're going to go ahead and let me open this up really quickly. Yep. Okay, mission name, number, apply changes. All right, so let's get this out of here. And let's start adding devices. Let's start adding devices, guys. Hey, Ann Mole Sandu, thanks for the super chat. What? Did we just become best friends? Yep. Thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and add a device. You can see here, we get all of the goodies. All of the goodies are in here, okay? Ooh, we even have PLCs, you feel me? All right, so let's just do a firewall. Whoops, hold on one second. <laughs> hold on. There's a firewall. And then let's do a, uh, a gateway, right? Drop this baby right here. All right, and then we're gonna have a, uh, a router right here in the middle, right? And then let's do a workstation. We'll put one here. And let's do another workstation just for fun. And there will be a, um, like, Haiku is going to document, like, a lot and have, like, videos and stuff. 
So, don't worry about that. Yeah, actually, let's do one PLC. Why not, right? Actually, no, no. Let's, let's keep it legit. Okay, so we've got our network here. Let's actually do this. The cool thing is you can you can move these. I thought you could move them. All right, whatever. All right, now we need to click and edit connections, okay? So let's do this. Now these nodes are just sitting there by themselves, right? Now we need to add, hey, Laura Flores, that squad membership looks good on you. All right, so let's do uh, connections. All right, so we're gonna go here to here, right? You see, did you guys see how it went ding? All right, so then we need to go from here. Uh, oh wait, let me right click, right? And then let's click on this and go to this guy. You see how that's working? That's very cool. And then let's do this. Oh yeah. And then boom. All right, so now we've got like a basic firewall coming in to a gateway, to a router, to two workstations, okay? Can I? I wish I could, um, there's gotta be a way to move uh, these nodes a little bit, but. Oh, okay, here we go. The target icon moves stuff, there we go. So let's bring this a little bit out, right? So you can, you can move it around however you want. You can get saucy if you want, get spicy. Where's my spicy? Spicy! Get spicy. This is my haiku soundboard, so I didn't lose all the, uh, I didn't, my, my haiku soundboard didn't um, disappear. My, my Simply Cyber, Daily Cyber Threat Briefing one did. All right, so let's do this. All right, so we, we moved things around, everything's looking good. All right, so now let's go to device properties. Okay, all these devices, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, uh, hold on, Josh. All right, so let's pick uh, device properties. So we're gonna click a device. So this will be, see it comes right up with all the Intel and you can auto generate this, but like I said, as a, um, as a educator, I would like, I would prefer, um, to be able to do this at you know much uh, more granular level control. So the the device name you can see is DJ BSEC and a microphone, and then you know some generic four workstation three type stuff. That's fine. Um, the device is discovered at start. This is good. The message of the day. Drop that beat. Okay. Um. Let me keep looking here. Now you can, okay, so you can put anything you want in here. This is a simulated environment. So we'll call, we'll give um, this machine Windows XP, actually Windows and then um, XP. And you can do anything you want here, right? Let's put some services on it. Just let's put some services on it. We'll put SSH on it, port 22, and then you technically could, um, like, you know, whatever you want. So we'll, we'll do SSH version two. Okay. Users name and password. So let's go ahead and add by clicking on the plus button. It gives you the, you know, username and, you know, add. So we'll say BSEC and his password is going to be password. Awful, awful, awful BSEC. <laughs> oh. Carl. All right, let's add, let's add another one. Right. And then, um, we'll do, we'll do Jenny Housley. Right. And Jenny, Jenny's, uh, we'll, we'll have Jenny actually have a really good password. So like secret sauce. Just remind me when I forget later what it was. What's up, Henry major. Good to see you. Oh, Jenny had to peace out. Well, Jenny has an account now. All right. So 
you basically take the time and you can um you could change the type of device it is too but remember when i built the devices that was what um like i chose workstation from the drop down menu right so the host name we, we, we'll leave the host name alone for now all right so let's you could see it uses a little you know diamond to tell you like what device it's currently um working on all right so we'll do this one this is uh djb second of microphone five workstation four uh that's a workstation and we'll say holla right and then this will be like an ubuntu machine all right actually let's let's call it debian no, we'll do ubuntu and then uh, we'll do it uh, LTS2204. And we'll put SSH on this baby, version one. And we'll add another service. <laughs> exactly, James. Jenny Housley's gone. Let's wreck this place. All right, we'll put a web server on it as well. Um, and we'll do Apache um, 24231. And let's add what other what other kind of nonsense can we stick on this guy? Uh, FTP server, sure, why not? Cool. And then let's do this again. We'll give BSEC creds on this machine as well. And that's fine. Okay. So now the two workstations have content. Let, let's just, I'm gonna really quickly just uh, fill these things out because I wanna be able to, um, I wanna be able to, you know, actually do something. Give them Carl's password, admin, admin. Uh, Cisco, iOS 11. All right, cool. All right, so you get the idea. So I've put some device properties on these three units right here. In fact, let me just do all of them really quickly. Gateway, set a network mask. Ooh, see with the networking devices, this is where BSEC would really shine, right? Yeah, this is cool, Kevin Lucas. So you can choose the CIDR addressing you want for your network. Um, just to make it easy, I'll do slash 24. Actually, why is slash 24 not available? Hmm. Interesting. So you can't do slash eight. I guess 16 is missing too. Yeah. But they have 32. All right. Whatever. So I'll do slash. Um, I'll just go ham and have slash four for no reason. All right. Exactly. This is the router. What you doing in here? Okay. Uh, and then we'll make this, uh, you know, whatever, a Fortinet gateway. Uh, one, two, two. So you can put in, like, you know, actual um, vulnerable, you know, not vulnerable devices, but, like, device names and versions that would be vulnerable. But remember, this is World of Haiku, so the, everything is simulated in here. This isn't a cyber range with a real, um, like... This isn't a cyber range. This is this is really targeted for more um, new to the industry or trying to get spun up and stuff like that. Or someone like myself, who's just like an absolute nerd for cybersecurity and loves all the cybersecurity things. Oh, thank you, uh, Edgar, uh, about the shirt. In fact, if someone's in chat right now, I know I saw Eric Basu earlier today. He is the CEO at Haiku. Um, I, I, I don't know if any of the marketing team is there, but there there might be an update around merch uh, that could be shared i'm not sure like this was sent to me this was sent to me by uh haiku a plc so robert cooper asks a quick question what's a plc a plc is a prolog a prolongable a programming a, a, a programmable logic controller pro jesus that took a hot minute for me to say a programmable logic controller and basically it it's like a piece of operational technology that can control f cyber physical systems. So Robert, think of, um, you know, uh, um, whatever, a water treatment plant. Hey, Justin, huh? 
Think of a water treatment plant and they have to mix certain amount of chemicals uh, to clean the water and the chemicals are released into it or they have to vent gas. Something that controls that venting or, you know, the submersion of uh, things in the, in the water, that is controlled through PLCs. All right, so Haiku is saying the merch store should be live next week. You uh, actually could get one of these sweet shirts uh, of your own, Edgar. All right, so let's keep on um, building this network out, y'all. All right, and then finally, I'm going to put this firewall together. All right, and then we'll just do SSH. And that's fine. Admin, admin. All right. So I've created my network. You guys can see it. Uh, I've got accounts. I've got services running. Things are looking pretty good. Um, now, let's do this. Uh, let me see. Um, we have to, these, these systems are like blank right now, right? So let's, let's actually add some content to it. All right. We can, I right click and I can add a folder or a file. So like my secrets, right? And then, oh, so within my secrets, you can see we can edit the um, the permissions and stuff of that. You can even apply uh, user access control lists or ACLs permissions on these devices, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a new file and call it the goods. Nope, don't need a hint right now. Call the goods and um, um, 2022 taxes, right? Get some. Well, hold on. What would, what would be something, do we have a meme network storage location? Yeah, actually, thank you. Um, haircut fish. Memes. There we go. <laughs> the haircut fish memes. And then, of course, of course, we've got to do... Um, of course, we have to do Carrie's jokes, right? Carrie's jokes. Um, and then within that, we could say, um, hold on. I mean, I, I, I don't have to go too far. I don't have to go too far. Let's see. Where are you, Carrie? Carrie, um, let's see why the IT tech had to go to the Ari touch the firewall. Thank you. Touched the firewall. All right. All right. So Carrie, Carrie's got his own um, database. Haircut Fish has got memes. They are actually going to put in support for um, graphics in here as well. And we've got our secrets. Okay. So I'm actually going to rename this simply Cyber Secrets since it's clearly what's going on here. Okay, cool. So let's do that. So now we've got a file system on this one. We um, Let's just put something in here, like just a file, like um, malware, <laughs> right? How do you find Ronald McDonald on New Speech? <laughs> Sesame seed buns. That's pretty good, James Randolph. Thanks, KG Tech, for sub. Love it. Oh, Steve Kitty. A little nap sounds good right now, my friend. I am currently, yes, they are in the database. I'm currently building out, um, I'm using the level creator on World of Haiku. And I've, I've built out some stuff here. So I've got two workstations with stuff. I've got IP addresses, everything over here. So now this is just, this is just like the platform. This is just the stage. We still have to build a story and uh, engagement and stuff like that. So now we're going to do that, okay? Let's do this. We're going to click on the chat bubble. And now it's about to get real. All right. We're going to do uh, create new mission. Right. Yeah, let's create new mission. We're going to edit the global info. And let's see. Get the workstation name for the home system. 
Hold on one second. Hold on. This is one second. This is a tricky part, okay? This is a really tricky part. All right, hold on. Let me... Mission ID, this is the number, right? And um, I do know that I have to... Mission name can't be empty. Okay. Let's see. Spin that... Oh, wait. Um, find the dad a base. We'll just do a whole mission on that, okay? Find Carrie's secret database jokes. Okay. Now, network file name. There, There's definitely a... Um, there's this one small tricky bit here. There's definitely... I think... Is this it? Yeah, this is it. Uh, 1337. I think that's where I have to save it. Mission ID isn't the number. Give me a second. Okay. We'll just call it mission at one for now, okay? But 337, this is this is where it is, okay? And I do know that I need to... I do need to go to a workstation and get the home system value. So let me pull that up really quickly. This is like one small tricky part that I was having a tough time with. Okay. All right. All right. I believe I need that. Now let's go to the map editor. We have to refresh the list. 1337 should be there. So there we are. Okay. Now let's edit the selected one. Okay. Now, um, yeah. I see. I see. I see. Okay. Cool. 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 All right. Let me, let me just edit this information really quickly. Um, We'll do this one. Current mission one. Mission name is find the database. I like it. Um, find Carrie's database jokes, right? Uh, the home system. This is where. Oh, oh yeah, like where you start the mission. You gotta, you gotta figure out where you're gonna start. So let me, let me actually do this really quickly. Uh, I want to start in the. Um, this, this, this device over here. So let me. So this is like a one-off thing because you have to. Um, you got to tell the game where to put you to start. Now, normally I would just say the firewall, but for the sake of demonstration purposes, I'm going to um, start in the router. So see, or the gateway. So you see how that that works, okay? Let me see real quick. Nice, 59 of you here. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I'm gonna put this back up here really quickly. Oh, that's too bad. It says zero viewers, but I know there's 59 of you, so I don't I don't know why that number's not right. Let me see this really quickly. Oh, I see how it works. Huh. <laughs> cool. Alright. So enough of that. Alright, so let me go ahead and Network file name is the name of the mission. There we go. Um, we'll just say uh, Jerry mission really quickly. Make it easy, okay? So now let's close that. All right, so now we got to save. Okay, so I think we're good now. So now we need to start adding the steps. And this is where it gets really interesting, okay? Really fun. So now we're going to click edit on this step step zero okay and we can start using these commands um like to to build what happens in the flow of the game okay check and continue to next now these all have definitions right so let's do this All right, let's do this. We are auto connect to. Oh, you'd have to know that the device air will start there, right? And then let's do the Nitro app. 
we'll get the little so do you guys have a preference on who you like talking to you i always like the little robots lug lug is my favorite because he's kind of like a smarty pant like he's kind of like i don't know like not a jerk but he, he kind of says things right so uh let, let's uh let's have him make fun of someone um let's say uh, you again looking for your database you're lame jerry all right okay then let's do a little bit of a delay and then we will do nitro caption next message Oink. all right okay cool so now we have to go down here and you see commands waiting for the user right so we're going to do nitro caption and then arguments uh whoops one cool now we're going to save and exit okay lug yes exactly i love lug all right, so let's do that. Now we have to do a new step, right? There we go. And let's say, let's see now step one. Let's see step one, we're gonna edit it. And we're gonna say the goal name is to, um, you know, Pig a workstation, okay? Something super easy. But you, you'll get the point in a second, all right? And we're gonna break if check was failed, okay? Now we're gonna do a Nitro app. We'll do Lug again. I, I love Lug, so Lug's gonna be the one that is talking to us, okay? You're not qualified. <laughs> You're not qualified to... Um, access computers noob oh and another cool thing guys you can use kind of like wild cards so you're not a lot you're not qualified to access computers you can actually say um like this so now like you know what i mean so like it'll it's you kind of see this with like form feeds and stuff like that it'll be like you're not qualified jerry or whatever your player name is because you want to make it personalized right um and let's say show me first or prove here prove yourself prove yourself by pinging and then we can say um like device oops Device IP, whoops. Device IP, I'm gonna skip that song. And colon, and then we'll say, um, I f <laughs> we need, we need a, um, hold on one second, I'll have to come back to this because I, I don't have one off the top of my head. Boink. All right, so let's save and exit. And then see how it's red because it's it's not completed yet. So this visually tells you, um, this is visually telling you that it's it's not right. You need to you need to um, like figure it out. So let me let me do this. I think the database jokes are over here. Yeah, this one. So there we go. Sorry, Josh Mason. Right, let's go back to level editor. Edit this. We'll edit this. Okay. Now he said you need to ping. And then I didn't finish it. So now we can say ping that workstation, right? Okay. And then we'll do that. And then we'll do SMB delay one. Okay. Hold on a second. I'm just checking something really quickly. Oh, 
Oh, I see. I see. Okay, hold on one second. Um, let me go ahead and save and exit really quickly. Sorry, guys. This is my first time. Second time. <laughs> Second time. So let me do this. Okay, let me edit global info and change the file name to DJ BSEC. Okay. There we go. There we go. DJ BSEC. Okay, so let's close this and let's save. Now let me... Um, what's up, Base Case? This is World of Haiku. They've, um, they're about to release the level editor for World of Haiku so you can build your own levels, which is what we're doing right now. It's pretty sick. All right, I'm trying to put this in place. Um, okay, and then commands being waited for the user. So we have to say wink. We have to say uh, ping, right? Because we're asking to ping. And we need this device. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and save and exit. Uh-oh. It's still, it should be green, not red. So I, I, I must have made a mistake somewhere in here. Uh, let me see. Step one, ping workstation. Break if checklist failed, yes. Nitro app log, show message, yes, yes, yes. Device name, ping, device name. So, all right, hold on. If the world of haiku people are here, give a, give a holler. Let me see, I'm looking through my notes here. Let's see. Yes, yes. Kevin Lucas asks, will you still only have access to the basic tools like the Dojo tools or would there be more options? That's a good question. There is some uh, new content being developed by the developers. Oh, okay. Uh, my misunderstanding. Red does not mean it's broken. Red means it's a blocking requiring some type of like uh, correct behavior by your uh, student or by the player. So this is fine. All right, so let's add a step three. Or, you know, step two, because it's zero-based indexing. Very nice. Let's go ahead and edit that. Let's see. Will you only have access? Yes. Yeah, exactly. Um, step two. Let's see. Continue to next, but do not check. We're going to do Nitro app. Boink. Got to do... Got to do log. There we go. And say, you may have pinged, but I still don't think you're qualified, right? All right. Oh, and let me also say, you remind me of Josh Mason. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, and then let's do this, and we'll add a delay of one and a nitro caption of complete mission. Very nice. All right, so let's save and exit. All right. So now check it out. I'm going to save this off. So you could see we built this. We built this city. Oh yeah, who who's my '80s people, right? Starship, we built this city. I mean, hold on one second. Yes, yes, we did. All right, I just wanted to do that because I could, and it's it's fun. It's so fun. Um. Get back into here. You play one fun song and all of a sudden, like, you know, you got to like make 50 clicks to get back to where you were. Let me keep going here. 
Ooh, this one looks retro synthy. Please double check the file system and make sure you're doing apply and edit. So let's check it out. File system. All right, so. I mean, we've got Simply Cyber Secrets. We've got all these things. We're going to apply FSO. Let's go ahead back to the mission builder here. We're going to edit this one. Global info. Uh, current mission one. Everything looks good. Everything looks good. And by the way, guys, the cool feature too is like once you save this, you can also share, you can share it, right? You can share it. It's cool. So let's save it all out, okay? Now let's let's give it a shot and see what happens here. Oh yeah, let me let me add a file system to the gateway really quickly. Let me see here. Uh, let's say the routing table. Okay. Apply, apply, and edit. Nice. All right, and let me just look at the device properties on the gateway router. Yes, we've got all the things here, so this is good. Just to confirm. Now the hint system will not come up. This is for World of Haiku gameplay, but in the level builder, world builder, it's a little different. All right, so we're, we've got our system all set up. So now let's play, shall we? The cool thing is, obviously you can make this available to other, you can make this available to other uh, people and students and you can really, I mean, it's not exclusively for content builders and, and uh, excuse me, for educators, but, it is pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and do the uh, editor settings. You can see right here, start preview play. Let's give it a shot, guys. There we go, we start right off in the gateway and there's Lug. Ugh, you again, looking for your da database? You're lame, Jerry. <laughs> cool, all right, so we're doing this, y'all. All right, you're not qualified to access computers, Jerry. Prove yourself by pinging 192.164, okay? Now, check it out. You can see this is our, our network, right? And right now it doesn't, the hover overs aren't happening, but it would say 192.168.164. The IPs are dynamically generated, which is very cool. Let me go ahead and close this really quickly and then I want to I want to move my camera so you can see like here, let me move up here hey I'm up here now all right here we go whoops I clicked on the wrong button I'm sorry <laughs> let's start the preview play okay here we go and this looks just like world of haiku because it is just like world of haiku all right so let's go ahead and ping Yeah, this is, by the way, just so everybody knows, this is a pre-UX alpha version. You're getting a exclusive early sneak peek at it. So this isn't available mainstream yet. All right, here we go. We're going to go ahead and ping that device. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm sorry. <laughs> I redeployed it so it got a new IP. It got a new IP range. Boom. And as you can see, the goal was completed. Um, I'm, I didn't, I must have not added a, um, whoops. Oh, hold on one second. Man down. Hold on one second. We we had a <clears throat> small hiccup there. Simply Cyber was too much. <laughs> Simply Cyber was too much for it. There we go. Let's take a look here. 
All right, now, I should be able to load that, I think, right? Load level by name. Um, and I think it would be... What was it, DJ B? This is the problem with goofing around. This is the problem with goofing around. You got all these names, and now I forget what I wrote. Hold on one second. I think I took some notes here. Threat level midnight was the level name, right? And the, and the mission name was 1337. Can we load that? Boom. See, it came right back up. Right? It came right back up. Now, I want to look at one thing. This this is pretty cool. I want to look at one thing, right? So, when I ping that workstation, it went straight to this. I, I didn't get a... I didn't get an opportunity to see this message where he makes fun of Josh Mason. So uh, let me let me just do this. Yeah. Okay, let's save and exit. Let's close this. Let's run it one more time. Run it back. We're going to uh, save level. And then we're going to start preview play. All right, here we go. We got our little guy. Your database. Yeah, I love it. So let's go ahead and ping the IP. And yeah, it goes quick. I'm I'm not I'm not super um, super skilled on uh, the the language yet on how you uh, interact with the level builder. But you guys get the idea. So me let me move on down here you get the idea this is basically world of haiku level builder you there will be more support materials there will be tutorial videos there will be um i would suspect that there would be some type of like at least at the beginning and no one's told me this but i'm just assuming there'd be like um channels on the discord server for people to exchange levels there's probably be contests um there might be contests as like, you know, best level or something like that. I'm really, really curious. I mean, if you look at how Roblox, you know, for example, or, or some of these uh, Counter-Strike um, back in the day, uh, when, when, when developers or software companies release the tools to build your own environments and stuff, the community comes out with some like crazy, crazy um, interesting setups you know so let me see this really quickly so i was just looking back here really quickly all right haircut fish be good oh no justin gold is it still that day that's funny my bad my bad good to see you dan all right well, I think you guys get the gist of it, right? Let me exit this. Go back to the uh, main menu here. So we've been playing World of Haiku, and I've been showing off the new level builder, right? We built a simple, simple network. Simple network. Two workstations, a database on one of them, a gateway router. You know, dynamically deployed um, IP devices everywhere. And this is literally the same tool that the developers use to make the missions in the game. This isn't like, this is what they use, right? Um, and they've, they've cleaned it up some. It's going to get further refined from a UX perspective to make it really easy for everybody in the community to use it and ultimately to build really interesting, really education, ed educationally valuable content. And I, I'm excited. I was like super pumped when I got asked to demo the um, the level builder just to check it out and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got value from the stream. Uh, as you guys know, uh, every single Monday at four o'clock, I stream something haiku related. Um, this week was World of Haiku. Yeah, so James Randolph says it would be interesting if we could fork levels by other people. James, you, you can. I think I think you will be able to because essentially when you get someone gives you the file, you can import it into the range builder 
and open it up and then start manipulating those different things. Um, and because you can control the names of all the devices, what the bots are saying, what the characters are saying, you really can develop your own interesting, immersive story. And again, your own educational uh, content. So it's very cool. Yeah, it would be cool. It'd be fun. I know that the development team at Haiku is very excited about releasing this and even more excited to see what the community comes up with for their own levels. So, I, I you know, my, my level, my demo level was kind of lame, but I really just wanted to show some uh, capabilities and what, you know, the look and feel looks like. Exactly. Vincent says you can look through someone's mission and see how they built it exactly 100%. So, all right, guys, we're just about at the hour here. I had a wonderful time today. I genuinely appreciate all of you coming out. 44 of you here right now. There was like 50 or 60 at one point. Um, yeah, it's just sick. If you're on uh, LinkedIn, thanks for coming over. If you're on YouTube, thanks for being here. Obviously, let me get some squad love. I'm going to drop, uh, what are we going to do? Oh, Hacker Man. Yeah, there we go. Do you love me some Hacker Man? All right. Any questions? Guys, you have any questions about, uh, you're welcome, Tree Hugger. If you have any questions about the platform, about what we did today, you know, now's the time to ask. You got m myself, obviously, but then um, you've got uh, the developer, Vincent, is in chat right now. Good to see you, Ken. Good to see you, Travis. Always a pleasure, Justin and Carrie. Oh, come on, Adam. Of course, man. Adam, I want you to know. Adam, I want you to know that now when I start the daily cyber threat briefing in the morning and when I end it, I uh, do the yeet. And it's so funny because I show I was showing Grayson, um, my son, the stream from Friday because the joke of the week is on Friday, right? So I wanted to show him how people liked his joke. And the show starts in like one second and it's like, yeet. And uh, he, he was cracking up. He loves that. Can you have the file system auto-generate? Kevin Lucas asks. I know you can have host names and environments auto-generate. I suspect that the file system can also be auto-generated, but Vincent would have to comment on that. Vincent, are you in chat? So... Uh, Kerry says he's working on school with a preview project for UX UI, which is what the apps and games look like, just like World of Haiku. Oh, that's very, very cool. All right, so it's on the roadmap. The file system auto creation is on the roadmap. Very cool. How much for the Haiku shirt when the shop releases it? That's a good question. Uh, I don't know. Is anyone from Haiku in here can comment on on that? Yeah, they do have, yeah, the dojos auto populate their file system. So the capabilities there, it's about buttoning it up and making it look good for, you know, you, the end user. Nice, Carrie, keep, keep crushing it. Keep crushing it. All right, guys, I'm hot. It's, it's warm up in here. It's very warm up in here. So... Stay tuned tomorrow. If, you, if you're if you enjoying the Simply Cyber content, we go live tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern time for the Daily Cyber Threat Briefing, where I'll go over the top cyber news stories of the day and give you my thoughts and opinions and analysis on each of those stories. Thanks, Rick J. See ya. So come join us. Go to simplycyber.io slash streams to get all the up-to-date uh, upcoming live streams and such. I'm Jerry from Simply Cyber. This has been World of Haiku. We've been looking at the world builder. I hope you got value from it. If you did, hit the like button. Always enjoy that. And uh, when's the new time? So tomorrow is 10 a.m. Eastern. And then starting April 20th, it will always be 8 a.m. All right, everybody, be good. Thanks so much. And we'll see you in the next stream. Take care.